Okay, people, today I'm gonna make some brown stew fish in coconut curry ginger sauce. Yeah, if you notice a few of my um, short video, you see the same coconut curry brown stew fish. Well, today I'm gonna show you how I make it. Alright, yeah, I already have. The snapper fish over here, so oh, yeah, I already have the snapper fish, so I'm just all clean up the snapper fish right now. Clean it up good, because I'm just buy it at the fish shop. So I'm just going to clean up the fish here, yeah? and then me show you what I work with, you know. Yeah, you know, no found and I like the fish head and all of that, so. I don't really want to see the fish head yet. I'm going to clean it up first. After I clean it up, I just um, work with what I work with and then show you how I season it up and all of that, you know? So, but we start the process. As you see here, all of the ingredients up on the table. Here, so. This is some pop chow. You see? Sweet pepper, onion, tomato, carrot, cilantro, and we have ginger and turmeric. So we have the ginger and we have the turmeric over here. So some we just get it in order. The ginger and the turmeric over here. So ginger and turmeric and rosemary over here so and then we have some Jamaican jerk seas dry seasoning we have the food coloring which is the anata or anato you know and we have them kind of seasoning yeah. so I saw a thing go go you know today but I use some of the Himalayan pink salt today yeah and then we're going to use some, I'll put a little sage in it too. And we're going to put, we're going to put some thyme in it. So, yeah, watch the process. Yeah, no mind sure I'm going to put some spinners in it this time too, you know. But anyway, let me fix them fish here. Fix them up nice, scale them off good. Because when you buy fish at the store and bring them home, you still have to scale them off your way, you know. Yeah. So let me just scale off them snapper on my way. Yeah. Look, look about them my way. So when we cook it, it not have no scale or no loose scale on it. You know, wash it. Wash it down good in a, in a some lemon juice you know wash them down real good you know so after we wash them down real good then we go and get to season it together and season it season it and then we go and show you how the brown stew processing start because it's a brown stew, snapper fish in coconut curry ginger sauce me are making. So, right now me I prepare the fish and scrape them off good, take off all of the extra scale off of it, you know. I'm soon show the white look like people. Yeah, so we just have to do one big fish. The head and the, the tail, you know? Yeah. So the one big fish, head and tail. Cut it in a two hours, so, you know? I wash them up good, scale them up good. So they eat good, you know? You know? For real. Oh people, 
And I stop doing this, you know. This is my passion. Cooking is my passion, you know. This me go and do. So as long as you know, turn on on YouTube when you go and see me. You know? And this me I do. This me like do. Cooking is my passion. You know? So this me go and do and this me enjoy. So as Bob Marley say. I'm not tired of fishing my face. You know? I don't stop. I'm a thing of the reach the limit, you know. Sky is the limit, you know, people. Yeah, I'm a thing of the reach, you know. Yeah, man, I'm not stopping, man. No stopping, no turning back. A green one that said no letting go. No turning back. You see? That's how it's going to go. No joke. So yeah, I'm going to wash them off you now. Wash them off good. Squeeze some lemon on it. Alright, what kind of lemon do you have here? The right lemon. Squeeze some lemon on it. And people, they don't squeeze lemon on your, on your fish or your meat. You don't squeeze lemon with the seed. You make sure you squeeze the lemon and no seed no drop in your, in your thing. You see how me squeeze the lemon? Me squeeze the lemon, no seed can escape and drop in my meat, you know. Or my fish, you know. Talk about meat, me not eat no meat. If you notice, you know, see no meat on my channel. But me just I give you an example. See there? I the seed them that. Yeah. I squeeze lemon from my fish. I block off the, the seed. No seed, no for escape. No seed, no for escape in my thing. You know? For me, me and my man, I want to eat no, no buck up no lemon seed in my food. So all the people who want to use them sour orange and them very, very low all these things. So we do it. Alright people, so if you notice, you use the lemon, wash off the fish, and once you wash off the fish one time with it with, with, with water after you scale you know, and you can you can leave some of the lemon for just, you can leave some of the lemon for just squeeze from the fish when you are cooking too you know. Can fish go well with lemon. So, yeah, what me I do? I use the same lemon here. Yeah. And squeeze some for my fish, you know, car. I ready, me ready for your arm. I ready, me ready. Ready see them no seed no get tonight. So me I say I ready, me ready and now for season up this fish here, yeah, you know. But we have some lemon on me squeeze funny. And I'll make sure not a lot of water get in it. Cause I want it dry, cause I don't want my stick. I don't want my fish stick. I don't want my fish go stick up to the um to the to the pot. So once again we're gonna run out some extra scale on me see for my fish and Take me time and um, make sure all the scale come off of the fish. Yeah, make sure, cause you know a fish head this. Yeah, have the fish head there, so I'll make sure me, me scale them off good. So I don't eat no scale, cause no scale if they put on the fish, you know. It, you know eat good when, when scale left on pan. So that may be enough people and make sure the fish have no loose scale where they go tangle up in my mouth. So yeah, I wash them off one more time again. Yeah. Alright, good. Wash them off one more time again. This time. This time we're going to dry with some 
napkin. I dry the fish with some napkin. Because as we say, when you dry your fish like this and you put it in the oil for fry it, it's not to it you know you know supposed to stick. Not just supposed to be sticking up in the pot. I saw your fish mash out and all of that. You know why your fish you mash out, you know? You want your fish brown, real firm, you know? So right now me I dry off the fish. Drying off the fish real good. Yeah. Drying off the fish real good. You know? Yeah. Me dry off the fish real good. Let me dry off the fish real good. Me go and get the fish seasoned up. So I'm going to season up the fish now with some of the Jamaican dry seasoning. You know? Dry jerk. Alright. I'm going to use the dry jerk. And this, this dry jerk seasoning come from Greece. To have some of the scotch bonnet seed in it. And all of that. So. May I season him up good. Yeah. And another thing that me go and put for me, make me fish too, while me season it, it is some um, browning. May I put some browning for my fish. I soon show you what it look like. Uh, let me put the browning for my fish like this. And you brown the fish. It come out real brown, you know. So you see, when you brown your fish like this, it come out brown and happy, you know, people. Cause you want the thing look brown. So this is how the browning look after you put it on the fish. See it there, brown. Look brown. All right. Next step, fish must go into the oil and start brown. So, I'll put the fish to brown in a minute. We're gonna brown this fish as soon as the pot get hot. Yeah, I have my coconut. Cream right just so we have all of the ingredients that we're gonna have ready, ready and waiting. So right now we go sprinkle a little sea salt on it. You know, sprinkle a little sea salt on this fish. You know. After me sprinkle the sea salt on this fish, I'm going to start get ready to brown it. You know? Yeah. After the pot get hot, I put in put in the coconut. Put in the coconut, um, the coconut oil. Put in the coconut oil. And people, now watch a sign you want to see a sign. The kitchen and me use it as borrowed time. So anything you want to see in my video, what you want to see me touch and do is not me put it there. So while you watch this video, just watch the way me cook. I don't know if you look for my wall, I don't know if you look for nothing. I'm using this kitchen half a borrowed time. You understand? Yeah. I'm in America right now. If you notice, you don't see a Jamaican flag. But Jamaican flag. You don't even see a Jamaican flag. But if you don't notice, you don't probably see something about America. In a summer, my video them. 
but it's not on my behalf, you know. It's people kitchen me I use. You understand? Me live here still, but everything what you see inside here, so a people put it in there, not me. The only thing what come in so now are the food what I bring in different. So I don't want to no watch. Nothing else what I see except for what I see me I do. Alright? Blessings. Alright, so yeah. Now, the oil is gone, melt out, because the coconut oil is not people. Now I get the oil hot first. And when the oil gets hot, then we go and drop in the, um, the fish and then go from there. So, Alright, the oil is supposed to act by now. I'll we'll drop in the fish. Two pieces of fish now. The head and the tail. The head and the tail. See what it looks like there? Dropping the head and the tail in there. So we have browned them. This is the first process with brown stew fish. So today I'm going to make the brown stew fish in the coconut ginger curry sauce. Alright, good. So it's browning right now, people. Yeah. So in the meantime, what we're going to do is cut up the vegetable ingredients. Because after I brown the fish, we're going to add the, the vegetable to the pot and bring it down to a stew like so it's gonna turn into a coconut curry ginger sauce brown stew snapper all right so yeah first we have the ginger we have the turmeric i wash them okay Okay, find a way how to cut up these. Find a way how to cut these up greater than. Alright, so yeah. First, we're going to do is um, we're going to grate the ginger. So I'm going to make the ginger sauce. So we will grate the ginger. Yeah. So we have grate the ginger first. Yeah. Grate the ginger and people and ginger are some strong ginger. The because of foreign we will get some strong ginger. Real strong ginger we get up here people. And good turmeric too. Good fermenter we get up here too. So I make the ginger. I make the the ginger. Let me see. Yeah. I make the ginger right now while the fish brown. You know? Okay. Okay, so yeah, get it the ginger while the fish brown. Alright, so here we're going to get it the turmeric. You know? Now get it the turmeric too, you know, people. Get it the turmeric right on top of the ginger, you know? Yeah. Turmeric is very healthy. Jamaica call it turmeric. Yeah. So I agree to the turmeric. With the ginger. Alright, good. Alright, what next now? After I agree to the turmeric with the, with the ginger, all I have to do is just save that for a while. Just save that for a while. Because 
The next step is start cutting up the tomato and all of them vegetables that we're going to have to put in at this spot. So we're going to start cut up the tomato. Cut up the tomato. And then the onion. You know? Cut up the tomato and the onion, the carrot. Some pop chai, some scallion, and a whole bunch of other ingredients, vegetable. Vegetable style. Yeah. Alright. Good. So yeah. Now we're gonna cut up the onion. Cut up the onion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let me see what um what this one is doing over here now. Need a um, two strong, need a two strong fork. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, good. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Whoa, turn so good people. See? Your fish not stick when you dry off your fish, you know. You're not put your fish in no water. Look on the first process, people. You see the first process, what it look like? Your fish can't stick. You see how me turn it good? You see that? When you dry off your fish before you, um, you season it, your fish now go stick and burst up and scatter all over the pot. So, that's how me do it. So, right now, May I cut up some onion, scallion, tomato, and I do some um, some pop chow leaves. May I do some carrot. So yeah, bit by bit, may I do it, you know, people. You know, Everything takes time, so yeah. I cut up the onion and then we show the what it look like, you know. Alright. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right now, you can get all the character if you want. That's how, that's how good it's going to be. She may have greater the carrot, yeah? See there? Greater. So we have greater the carrot. Greater the carrot. With the ginger and the turmeric. Yeah. Yeah. Greater the carrot with the ginger and the turmeric. Greater one carrot in you know, because burns too fish, in coconut, ginger curry sauce, mud, it's gonna be another epic cooking people. Alright, now turn on this stove a bit, cause we don't want the oil to burn, you know. And sometimes when the oil burn too much, it changes the, the taste. So, you notice my oil will burn a little bit, probably me just change the oil in a minute and add some fresh coconut oil when we're ready to put in the vegetable ingredients. So everything gonna go on top of that brown stew fish. Everything gonna go on that fish that my brown. You know? Yeah. So the greater a lot of this, if you notice. The greater a lot of that if you notice. Yeah. See there? Carrot greater. Ginger greater. Turmeric greater. Okay. Turn it. Turn on the stove a bit. Anything we need now, we just come cut it up. So we have all of the ingredients ready already actually. So, what next now? 
Watch ya, watch ya, watch ya. You know so we need something in this fridge ya. Let me get it out. Cause actually I have coconut milk in this fridge. Yeah, that I need to use. So people, and this is the trick in I know. You see this? The coconut milk ya. Me go hard it. Me go hard it in the pot. The coconut milk are added in the pot, yeah. Coconut milk added. Coconut milk added. Pony fish already, you know, people. You see? Coconut milk added pony fish. It's one of how simple them things are happening. Coconut milk added pony fish already, you know. Alright, good. Alright. The coconut milk added right now. Me gonna start add the ginger and the turmeric. Cause just addition right now, you know, people. Simple match. Now add the ginger and the turmeric and the and, and, and the uh, carrot. So the ginger and the turmeric and the carrot all together going in. And if you notice, me grate on the carrot this time. So we gonna put the ginger. Cause this are the sauce, you know. This is the sauce, you know. You know. Alright. Yeah. So okay. And you know what again people? I gonna put some of this better pack curry and onto it so it's get that curry taste, you know? You don't mind about burning curry. Curry not really have to burn. You see? Depends on how. How. Depends on the amount of curry where you put in your pot. You don't really have to burn curry. And it's not going to kill you. They say one of kill you make you stronger. Alright, yeah. So. Look at this already. You know? The sauce I make around the fish already, you know, people. If you could see this, the sauce already start make around the fish already, you know. You see? And it smells so wonderful already. So, yeah. Okay, good. So, I'll show you the process what it look like in a minute. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Show you what it look like in a minute. Mm -hmm. Alright. Thing I take it time on building up. Everything taking its time to build. Alright, so we put the um most important ingredient that me, me add in that me already add it. We put the, the curry and the um the, the, the greater the um, ginger and we put the turmeric and some greater um, carrot. And look look at the difference now. You see the difference now? Look at the difference. Alright. Check this out now people. Bit by bit, limb by limb. Alright, we have some cilantro. I put some cilantro in it. Yeah, I have some cilantro, I'm going to add it to it. Yeah. Wash this cilantro off. I love, love my cilantro. You know. Think about cilantro. It's a nice spice. Make food taste good. So I'm going to cut up the cilantro inside this. You know? All right, cut up the cilantro right now. Cut up the cilantro right now upon this fish here. Yeah. You know fish not take long fish, fish stew. Fish doesn't take long time to cook. All right, 
cut up the cilantro. Then we go ahead. I'm gonna add scallion and the tomato. The scallion and the, scallion and the tomato. And the onion. Okay. Bit by bit, you know, people. All right. Scallion and the tomato. The onion. Mm -hmm. Bit by bit, me I do it, you know. And I'm gonna add some anata. This is anata, people. When we are little boy in their country, Mama usually send me go pick two nata off of the tree, two dry nata. And she opened the pod and always put like six little nata beans in the pot, and the whole pot get color after that. So this is nata. So I have it in my pot too. I look on it now, people. Let me, look, let me wash me and I'll show you how good this thing look. Look how good this thing look. You see that? All right. All I need to do now is stir it up, stir it up, like Bob Marley said. Yeah, stir it up, stir it up, stir it up, stir it up, and leave it. Let it, let it come to a boil. After it come to a boil, then. I'm going to add in, gonna add in some more ingredients tonight. I'm going to add some pop char. Add some pop char in this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Yeah. Alright, this time I'm not even have cut up the pop chai. I just have put the, the pop chai big in it. Yeah. Pop chai are going in it real big, you know? So, I saw me like make pop chai go in my thing. Sometimes I know how to do it. I'm going to cut up my pop chai. Just leave me pop chai this so, And the pop chai just come to a softness. You know? Alright. Bam. Bam. Boom. Bam. Yeah. More pop chai again, people. Ah, them thing here. Me love them thing here. Little bit of slice, but have to be nice, you know? Alright. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pop chai. Then we going to put some bell pepper. Put my bell pepper in it too, because I love bell pepper. Real good. Some bell pepper 